Hi, I'm Mikey Gross of Team Wootsor. I hear some weird sounds going on outside. We're getting ready to sit down and play some board games, but I'm going to investigate these sounds first. Oh, it's just a propane tank. Oh, it's just a Wendy's cup. Nothing to be scared. Did you hear that? That was weird. Huh. Flashlight's not working. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's nothing over there. Do you hear chickens? Is that a goat? Huh. Just thought I heard a cow. Wait. What was that? No, what is that? Oh, no, it's a chupacabra! Hi, everybody. I'm Mikey Gross. And I'm Sean Sparks, and together we are Team Wootsor. Today, we're going to be talking about a great dice game from Steve Jackson Games called Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. The premise of the game, much like their zombie dice game or their deer hunter dice, it's, it's a dice game, but it's different every one of their iterations. This game, you, each player gets six dice. And what they're doing is they're rolling them. You'll have bulls, chickens, or goats. Mm -hmm. And the sixth side of the die is a pair of dark eyes yep. kind of looking at you from the darkness, which is the mythical chupacabra. Right, right. And what they're doing is each player, you choose the player to go first, and what they do from there is everybody rolls their dice, puts them out in the open. I would go, and let's say I had two sets of the chupacabra eyes, that means I could eat up to four chickens. Yep. Two chickens per chupacabra, one goat per chupacabra, or every two chupacabras is one bull. Right. The issue, though, is if I were to try and take Sean's chickens and he had five chickens, you have to take everything from one player. Well, everything of a certain animal Everything type. of a certain animal type, right. yes. Right. Um, so if Sean had five chickens, but Patrick had three chickens my two chupacabra could take his chickens. Right. Um, as the game progresses, you're keeping those dice. So your dice pool is growing, other people's dice pools are shrinking. Yes. Um, at one point, you know, if some player has only one die mm -hmm. or two die and they roll all chupacabras, mm -hmm. their chupacabras go loco. Yep. Which means they can choose, they can spend all of their chupacabra, mm -hmm. get any one herd or flock on the board. So if Let's say Jim had seven chickens, right? And I rolled one chupacabra as my last die. I could take all of Jim's chickens. Ah. This happened three times in a row. Patrick got to one die and ate an entire flock. Yes. Jim got to one die and ate an entire flock. I got to one die. Yep, ate an entire flock. Yes. Yep. So it was it was a very good catch up mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, the primary issue is though when somebody gets rolling. They are, you know, one person has 15 die, and then the other three have the rest, the other nine between them. Right. It's going to be hard to beat that top player, which is why they put that loco mechanic in. Mm -hmm. I think that mechanic alone saves this game. Yes. Without that mechanic, this game would get a three or a four out of ten. Mm -hmm. With that mechanic, I, I'm giving it a full 7.0 out of ten. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very fun game to play. You're making the chupacabra noises right. at the beginning you're making jokes you're taking chickens mm -hmm. making noises it's just it's an overall fun it's a beer and pretzels game yep it just it's a fun game to play yep uh, and you know one of the things that you mentioned that i really like is when you do end up with that big dice pool you know it's kind of scary to leave a player with one dice because he's going to maybe possibly get six or yeah. seven of the lead players, so it has a real, even like this guy has 12 dice, this guy's got one, but if that one goes loco, which like you said, in one of the games we played, happened three times, you're gonna, who you're gonna probably pull from, pull from is the guy with the most yeah. die, because he's probably gonna roll six or seven sheep or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's fantastic. Uh, I gotta tell you, I've played a lot of little dice games like this, and I, I don't generally like them. I mean, um, but this one, I, I, I'm 
I love it. I thought it was fantastic. You know, uh, not just because I won one of the games. I mean, that certainly makes it enjoyable. Yeah. But, you know, it plays really well. And I think you're right. I think it is that loco catch-up mechanic that is the difference. It, I mean, it's huge. Mm-hmm. It's like you think you're out of the game. Next thing you know, you're right back in. One it. in six chance. Yeah, and, and you can actually take, like I said, if a guy's got 12, you take half of his dice and add it to you, and now you're in the lead yeah. that fast. With that. So it's really good. Um, I, I don't know if there's any real negatives to it. I can't think of any. It's simple to teach. A maximum of four players. Well, you know, but, you know, who says you can't just add more dice? That's true. Okay, the game would get a little loco mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> if you did, okay. But you can. I, I think you could add more players. It would probably extend the yeah. game and make it a little harder. But, you know, hey, uh, this is a great game you could throw in your backpack and take anywhere. So I do. with that said, oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Oh, wow. So I really, really, really enjoyed it. And like I said, what is it, a $10 game maybe? $10, $15 dollars yeah. at the local game store. Right, and... You know, if you like rolling dice and little simple games that are quick and easy, I would yep. highly recommend you get this game. Plus, as a bonus, if you charge them, they glow in the dark. Oh. So you still couldn't play it in the dark. Oh, I didn't even see that, but yep. I see it now. Yeah, yep. right. Now, you, it still wouldn't be powerful enough to play in the dark. You could play one game in the dark, oh. and then it's okay. like, oh, wait, what? Yeah, well, that would be cool to see the little eyes glow. Yeah. Yeah, so. Cool. Hey guys, uh, thank you and uh, catch us next time when we review Love Letter. That didn't go anywhere. Nope. <laughs> I'll throw it for you. Woo! Bye.